All right, hello everybody. Sorry, I had to readjust myself in my seat there. I've been sitting a very specific way for a little too long. Today we're doing a very special episode because um, the game Smasher Pass has become uh, somewhat of a uh, what's the word a tr- a trend at the moment. Sorry, I forget what words are sometimes. <laughs> Um, so today what we're doing is Honey Pop Smasher Pass, the first game, um, cause there's technically three games. There's Honey Pop 1, 1. 1.5, and 2. This is all the girls from the first game in alphabetical order, but there's going to be something a little bit different about this version of Smasher Pass. I'm using their personalities to determine whether I would smash or pass them because I am abrosexual. I do not base my attraction to people off of um, their appearances alone. It is <laughs> what they're like as a person and if I vibe with them as a person. So without further ado, smash or pass Honey Pop 1 edition. Let's go. Uh, starting off with Yumi, the human <laughs> college professor. Um, she's a Scorpio, which makes way too much sense. She's an alcoholic as well. <laughs> um, and she's got issues out the wazoo. Also, at 28, a college professor. That's kind of impressive. Because, like, she would have had to have graduated out of school early in order to become, <laughs> in order to become a college professor. Um, Aiko's sass tends to be a little bit too much for me when I'm watching the game. Which sounds like utter bullshit, but I'm, I'm dead serious. Sometimes I cannot stand when she speaks because, like, she pisses me off. And I know that like most people would see it as she's just being a tease, she's just being funny, but <laughs> um, I don't. I think I think I'm gonna pass on on the gambling drunkard college professor. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna pass. Sorry, I'm responding to somebody. Uh, next we have Audrey Belrose. Um, for those of you who've uh, seen the second game, this is um, Brooke's niece. Um, <laughs> I hate her. It is, it is as simple as that. I hate her. She's nicknamed the Mega Bitch for a reason. Um, she's friends with Nikki, and I think she's friends with Tiffany. Don't quote me on that, because quite honestly, I don't remember. Nor does it make sense that Tiffany would be friends with her. Um, she's the not fun type of brat. And it's annoying. I hate her with a burning goddamn passion. Um. <laughs> um. If if we were basing it off of whether I would do it to shut them up or not, I would probably say smash. But because I cannot stand her, I don't want her. I don't want to touch her with a ten foot pole. So I'm gonna pass. <laughs> Uh, next we have Belly, my sweet Belly. I love her. She's so precious. Like, she's really, really shy. <laughs> and I'm really, really shy too most of the time. So, like, we probably hang out a lot before we ever smashed. Um, also, I'm pretty sure this this bubble here is the romance token. 
um, which makes sense that that's <clears throat> that that's her favorite because I think that would also be my favorite if I was a Honey Pop character. Um, <laughs> and I did do all of their names in uh, their favorite colors, so there's that. <laughs> I was talking with uh, Pandora about this earlier, and I was like, I'm going to get demonetized. But uh, I'm hoping because it's a different way of playing Smasher Pass <laughs> that um, I won't get, get demonetized as quickly. Um, I think Belly... She's she's working her ass off, so like if she could squeeze me into her tight schedule, I would be totally down to smash. But <laughs> if she could not, I would also understand, because she's busy being a college student and a yoga instructor <laughs> and trying to keep up friendships. So like, honestly, Belly, it's up to you, but if people are asking me, I'd say smash. Celeste... Um, <laughs> who doesn't love an, an, a strong independent woman in a gold bikini? <laughs> um, the alien from outer space. She's a bounty hunter. She's rocking it. Um, she did, however, make me question anything and everything that school ever taught me <laughs> when I was in high school um, for science. So... Just because I feel like she would question me about science the whole time, I'm gonna say pass. Give me, oh, give me just a second. Okay, back into this. We're starting again with Jesse May, our lovely first ever milf in the game. <laughs> I okay, so I love Jesse. She's. She's a lot. <laughs> she's a lot. Um, she's really, really chill, though. And I actually really like the chillness. She's she's needy. Um, <laughs> so it makes me kind of like her a little bit more. Cause I um, enjoy being needed. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say smash on Jesse. I'm going to say smash on Jesse. <laughs> Don't, don't come for me. <laughs> so and then we have Kiana, our second MILF. Back to back MILFs, let's go. Um, I actually like Kiana a lot. Because <laughs> she's like, she's so happy and peppy and she just like loves everything. She sees so much good in the world. Which is really, really, uh, it's reassuring when all you ever think about is the bad. You know what I mean? Um, and she's also a Pisces, and I get along, like, really, really well with Pisces. Two of my really good friends right now are Pisces, and somebody I'm fl flirting with, which is one of the good friends, is, is a Pisces as well. Um, and I'm a Pisces, my father's a Pisces. Um, <laughs> I also get, get along really well with Cancers, and, uh, oh dear. Yeah, Celeste is a Cancer. Like, I think, I think we'd be good friends, but I do not think I'd be able to smash Celeste. Because she'd make me question everything. But, oh. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go ahead and say smash on Kiana as well. Um, but I'd also, like, really love to take care of her son. I, <laughs> I would be that one that, like, swoops in and saves the day, you know what I mean? Ah yes, welcome to <laughs> Honey Pop Smasher Pass, where I got up in the middle to get sushi for dinner. <laughs> it's not even like fancy sushi, it's literally just hy sushi with crab spelt with a K. Because I'm lame, but I like sushi. Um...
Ugh. Jesus. There we go. Okay. So we left off on I would take care of Kiana's son. I think is where we left off, which is really weird. It's a really weird point to leave off on. <laughs> we got Q now. Hmm. Well, she's our first. No, she's not our first. Celeste was our first. Our f second non human, right? Our second non human. <sighs> I don't know. Hmm. Jeez, got some wasabi on that one. For anyone who thinks uh, wasabi is genuinely spicy, you have weak taste buds. It tastes like campfire smoke. I also got a Dr. Pepper. Funny story about Dr. Pepper. I'm gonna do a little sidebar in the middle of this because this game of Smasher Pass. While the oversexual fairy is on screen. Um, Jesus. Um, Dr. Pepper is actually not Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper was the guy who created it. This is actually Dr. Pepper's monster. Because it was, it was created by a doctor. Like, he literally had his doctorate. And he was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a soda real quick. <laughs> uh, anyway. Back to Madam Q Sugar Dust. She... It's the toxicness that I'm kind of like, eh. But I'm also like... Uh, she's really attractive, and I think she's funny most of the time. Hmm. With Q, I think... I think I'd smash. Just because I think it'd be fun. Like, it'd be really, really casual. Like, we'd just be... Friends <laughs> having having a time, you know what I mean? She's she's definitely friendship material. <laughs> that one friend you have like a weird moment with. Am I still recording? Wait a minute. Am I Okay, I'm still recording. <laughs> Oops. Anyway. Ah, Miss Lola Rembrandt. God, I love her. She's she's girlfriend material. She <laughs> she's the material girl everyone's talking about. <laughs> I hate myself for saying that. Dear God. Hmm. She's a girl after my own heart with that caffeine addiction. But, like, she has a reason for having a caffeine addiction other than refusing to sleep out of pure spite. Because, like, her, her job has her up at all hours of the day and all hours of the night. 
Mm. God damn it. I, I ripped my sushi bit. Um, she's kind of sporty for me. I feel like if we went on dates, all she'd do is talk about, like, her tennis high score, or... <laughs> but, um... Mm. Although she would probably talk about her her fashion line that she wants to do, which I love that. I love people talking to me about their special interests. It's like my favorite thing about talking to people, like at all. So I'm going to say smash because afterwards we'd cuddle and talk about her, her job and her special, special interest. That would be fantastic. <clears throat> I didn't even put Momo's information in. Does Momo even have information as the thing? <laughs> that was my bad. Um, well, we all know she's a cat girl. She's really innocent quote-unquote. Um, she's like a year old in cat years, which is weird. It makes me very, very uncomfortable. So for <laughs> several reasons, for all of the reasons, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and say pass. I'm gonna say pass on that one. Ooh, Nikki. Nikki and Marie. So, first of all, she's shorter than me by six and a half inches. She's a Taurus. And she's a gamer that works at a coffee shop. This is my perfect match. <laughs> Um, first of all, height doesn't actually genuinely matter to me. You could be taller than me, you could be shorter than me, you could be about an inch tall, as long as you are nice to me and care about me, would probably date you. Mm. Within reason. Because <laughs> if I don't vibe... I'm not. I'm not coming in with the offers. Um. Hmm. Ooh. I think. I think I'm gonna say smash with Nikki. Yeah, I think I'm gonna say smash with Nikki. I mean, like, look at her. She just is a vibe. I cannot tell you how many times I've done this. Just laid in bed and stared at the ceiling. Just contemplating existence. That alone we have in common. <laughs> mm. Tiffany. <sighs> Here's my, my issue with Tiffany. Is first of all, she would expect me to be her sugar mommy or a sugar daddy or whatever <laughs> glucose parent <laughs> I hate myself <clears throat> I can't do that because first of all I'm broke second of all I'm also going to college and third of all oh we're the exact same age I just realized that and technically in this canon which, by the way, in Hoonigham Studio, she, like, goes down in age, but her mom goes up in age. So I'm really, really confused. I don't know why that happened. <clears throat> uh, crap. Because I said smash on her mom... I think I'm going to say pass on her. 
for 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 reasons. Uh, those being moral reasons. <laughs> ah, yes. And Theatina? Venus. Um, essentially, Aphrodite. Just in a different font. First of all, not at all what the goddess Venus actually looks like. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> but I I think just just because <laughs> here's the thing. I'm pagan. I actually work with Aphrodite. So I have to choose my words carefully. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Um... I, even though her depiction is incorrect, I'm going to say Smash. Because I feel like we would grow an attachment to each other. <laughs> and it would just be unbreakable. You know what I mean? It's just... I think it would just work. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so smash on Venus. Okay. Well, that awkward ending out of the way. Um, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Excuse me. <clears throat> thank you all for watching. And thank you for being patient with me going to get my food. <laughs> Mm. And for understanding that, just because I said smash on any of those girls does not, however, mean if actually given the opportunity to smash someone who looked like them, I, I would not. <laughs> I would not. Because they would have to actually be the person. And it would probably take a couple of dates to do that. Um, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, do look out for part 1.5, where I'm going to be doing Tony Cam Studio Girls, and part 2, where I'm going to be doing not only <laughs> like part two or the sequel is going to be in several parts <clears throat> because i'm going to be doing each of the girls individually and then with each of the pairs because that's kind of how the game worked <laughs> i i figured might as well pay homage even though the game developer sucks um so, <clears throat> ending this video out semi-normally, um, if you liked this video, go ahead and leave a like, um, and share it with a friend. <laughs> I have six subscribers now, and I would love for those numbers to continue growing. Uh, if you're new to the channel, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe, because most of my content is exactly like this. <laughs> Um, and you know what? Comment your favorite girl from Hoonipop, either based on this video alone or based on the game itself, if you ever played <clears throat> or watched playthroughs. Which, by the way, there are some awesome playthroughs on YouTube, if you want to go check those out, too. <clears throat> and with that all being said, thank you all so much for watching, and until the next one, have a magical evening. Good night.